well. Okay, so let's say you've been impressed by what you've seen so far of MBlast and you want to dig into this a bit more. Or maybe you want to run our MBlast server on your own machine uh, for speed reasons. Uh, let's find out how to do this. First of all, we'll go to the About box here. Um, and that gives you a link uh, to the GitHub page with the source code uh, for this web application. So it's a web application based uh, around the R language and an application framework called Shiny, both of which are free and open source. In order uh, to run this web app, you'll need both R and R Studio, uh, which we've installed in other examples, so I'll assume you're there. And then we basically need to install a number of uh, R packages as prerequisites. We can copy this code section here, switch to R Studio, and just paste that in. So this will take a little moment. Uh, some packages uh, are being uh, installed here. Okay, next one up. Uh, this one actually contains a mixture of both data and code, uh, so the download actually takes maybe 30 seconds or so, not quite. Um, so this includes uh, template brains uh, for uh, different different uh, uh, different fly labs. Okay, so this is finishing up. We're all done now. Package is installed. Okay, so now if we want to use this, we'll also need to fetch some data. So the full data set uh, that's uh, installed uh, on the server will take uh, maybe a minute or two to download. Uh, as you can see, it's around uh, uh, two gigabytes. OK, well, in fact, that took four minutes uh, to download uh, on my machine. So that's an order of magnitude. OK, so now that it's finished downloading all of these data, we're actually ready to run the app. Um, so basically, this is all we need to do. Uh, if you look here, um, we're loading the Shiny library, so that's the our web application framework, and then we're running um, the code directly from GitHub uh, using that second command. And here we are. Um, this fires up uh, a version uh, uh, local uh, to this machine. Now you notice that it says uh, here that um, the R Studio built-in browser doesn't actually support WebGL, uh, so I guess in this case we may as well open up uh, in Chrome, uh, and here we are. So let's try uh, uh, a search. You're on 452. What does it look like? It's a Kenyan cell, an alpha beta Kenyan cell, and here are some of its friends. Okay, so you can see from this that we have a full, uh, uh, fully running uh, NBLAS server running now on this local machine.